welcome to the tutorial so today we're going to be making the bottle from the animation I did so to do that um, okay I want you guys to know that I'm going to make this as beginner friendly as possible but I think you should know how to do some basic things in blender like to be able to move the cube and stuff to be able to know some things like that okay so to begin with first we need a reference and I'm using this as a reference uh, in modeling it's important to use references because they will help you with the modeling process to help you keep things as accurate as possible okay so to do that I want to bring that reference into our scene so let's go into the front view so we just hit one go into the front view also if you want to know how to enable this like use the number part to change views you can head over to edit mode go to preferences and click on input and if you emulate number part and make sure to save I think it automatically saves for you so yeah okay so let's bring in the reference so shift a then go down to image and it's here reference click it then go to the file where it is that's this and bam it's here so the thing about this is it automatically adjusts to the view you are in so if I were to go into this view like this let me delete this for you to see I want to bring it in see it adjusts to the view so you have to make sure you are always in like the front orthographic view you are always in orthographic mode basically so let's do that okay so before we start modeling the best thing to do is to model according to the real life dimensions of the bottle so I'm going to use the dimensions of a wine bottle so let's just check real quick okay so yeah it says that a wine bottle is 12 inches tall and it's 2.8 to 2.2 inches wide so I'm going to use 12 and 2.8 okay so let's go so we click the cube okay I'm not even going to use a cube let's use since it's a bottle I want it to be cylindrical so I'm going to use a cylinder so let's use a cylinder over here okay so press N to open this tab and come to your yeah, item so these are the dimensions for this so it was 12 inches for the Z and 2.8 inches for this great now the reason why we normally model according to real life um, dimensions is because the lighting plays a part in it if you if you make it too big and you light up you, you put lights in the scene it will make the image like not accurate let me put it that way so yeah so let's scale this press s to scale down scale until it's that wide okay so i'm going to click the killing the cylinder I said cylinder, cylinder, and just scale it down again. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, I think this is okay for now. So I want to make this a little bit transparent, translucent, anyway. So come here to opacity and just reduce it. Good. So now it's time to start modeling so first up click all the vertices see i'm in vertex mode in edit mode to model you go to edit mode by pressing tab select all the vertices just drag and hold press g to move it around and we don't want to, it to move around in all like um the all space we just want it to move according to one 
test this axis so press z and drag it along so it moves only in the z as a direction and press e to extrude and z again to move in the z axis i'm going to press s to scale it down so what i'm basically doing is i'm going to use the basic shape of the cylinder and i'm going to basically edit it to make it look like the bottle so that's basically what i'm doing so press e to extrude again and yeah okay so i want to make this side you see the edge here is completely flat and sharp i want to give it a bevel so hold control and press b control plus b and this will give it a bevel press the plus to increase the number of loops to make it as smooth as possible but don't do it too much because the more you do it the more geometry adds to it and the more taxing it is on your pc for it to calculate so just take your time and just do it carefully so i think this is okay so for this we also do it for, yeah, for this side too control v control v great the engine and z to move the whole thing up to unline it here to the same thing control v all right okay so we are getting there as you can see we are getting there one thing you see as you can see the edges are showing and we don't want the bottle to look like this right so let me show you a trick right click and shade smooth or you could also do this go here to the modifiers properties tab open the modifier and add a subdivision surface and increase it yes so this will just give it more geometry and shape smooth now the reason this is happening is because there are no it's just this point there are no edges here and let's fix that so it's a bottle right it does it's not supposed to be enclosed like this i want to make it look like a bottle let's go back to the edit we're already in the edit mode go back to this side so i'm using the x-ray toggle i'm using the x-ray mode because you see if i don't use it and i just select this i'll just select just one side of it but when i use the x-ray and i select it selects everything so it's important to always be in this mode when you're modeling if you want to make everything align well okay let's go so we're going to hit extrude extrude and scale it inside then hit extrude e for extrude and z to bring it down so we're going to do extrude again z bring it down Kill it on this side. Okay. Extrude Z. Bring it down again. Okay. I think this this is alright. I hit Control B to bevel. Okay. As you can see, it's lagging right now because of the vertices. That's why it mustn't increase it too much. So let's go inside here and do the same thing. Uh, I think, yeah, that's it. Let's bevel here too. Great. And the last one over here. Let's build this side too. Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah.
Okay. Yes, now it's a bottle. So let's do the. Oh, yeah, we've not even finished. I forgot about this side. Okay, then we have to delete everything in here. But no worries. Okay, let's just extrude it up. Uh, let's just bring it up. GZ. GZ, okay. Let's bring it up all the way here. And now we are coming to add. This is the Lukatsu. This adds like um, more edges or vertices, actually. To it. So let's bring this down so right here. Okay, I think this is good. Let's kill this. Then bring this down to. Bring this up to. Now, devil it. Let's kill it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for this side too. Now let's do the top, the cover for the bottle. So, um, let's add a circle. Scale it down. So basically, it's just a circle. That there's nothing. Doesn't have geometry. It's just vertices. We'll scale it down and we're going to use this for the cover and you see how in a moment all right going to edit mode all right scale it down again okay hit extrude z and f to fill what is that? It just fills the top. Before, after, before, after. And I'm going to take this side and extrude it out. Extrude it again. And hit F. Okay, let's bring this one down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring this one down a bit too. Alright, I think that, that's okay. Now we'll just bevel it. And. Wait, in fact, just kill this a bit. Just going to play around with this until it looks right, so you can skip a bit. It's too big. Okay. I think this is alright. Subdivision shake smooth. So that's it guys. This is part one. And just modeling the bottle. 
so yeah make sure to subscribe and like guys and also share with anyone who needs this kind of content who wants to make these kind of things share it to them too and i'll be back with the next tutorial on the materials for the bottle all right guys thanks for watching see you later